Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna be continuing working on the 2015 Dodge Ram. My buddy Bill, and Bill, if you're watching this, I appreciate you gifting me this grill, but he gave me a completely black grill that had the black emblem and gloss black mesh. On mine, it has the chrome with the black, and it has this matte black honeycomb finish, and I truthfully didn't even know that that came as an option. Not sure if that's stock or if that is aftermarket or if maybe a higher trim level came with the gloss black inserts because this is an express and it came with the matte black. So I believe I'm gonna swap out the gloss black mesh for this flat black honeycomb and we're gonna be swapping out this grill emblem. So I'm gonna walk you through how to remove the grill and exactly how to swap all of this out if you choose to do so. So my neighbor is cutting grass. So there's gonna be a lot of musical montages and time lapses. Tools for this job very simple you need a clip removal tool and you need a 10 millimeter socket that is the only tools you should need for the removal of the grill but once we get the grill off I'll show you there's some tabs and stuff that you have to take off and these ducts in the back of it that actually directs air into apparently there's some kind of coolers for the 8-speed transmission that there's grills behind this that channels air into it anyway it's like a flapper system I don't know a whole lot about it I just kind of discovered that that was the thing I'll walk you through getting this grill off let's go On these little ducks you have these clips here that are next to impossible to get off so a little trick that you need to learn is take a heat gun and heat that up not to the point of melting but just to give it a little bit of a bendability and it will slide right up off of those you can see that so that's a little trick that I've seen on another video so you have quite a few of those on this side one two three four and then you have four on the other side as well So let me give you some tips and tricks on getting this emblem out. It's not as simple as just doing those, undoing those four tabs. You have double-sided tape in the middle as well. So take you a heat gun and kind of heat up around this circle. And if you heat up the clips a little bit, it helps as well. Just I'm not responsible if you damage anything with a heat gun. You should know how to use it. You should know the you know appropriate amount of heat to use for this. So don't melt your grill because it's not my fault if you do. Heat up all that and you will push through these little slots here as you're kind of pulling back on these tabs. And that will release the double-sided tape and release the emblem. Let me just recap. This is our factory 2015 grill from the Express model. This is our matte black honeycomb inserts that are held on by all of those tabs. This is the duct to channel air into the cooling for the transmission from what I understand. And that is the factory chrome and black imp. We have the donor grill, as I'm gonna call it, on the stools here. So we're gonna do the exact same thing to this one and pop all of this stuff off so we can swap it over to that grill. So 
So guys, here it is with the new gloss black mesh installed. Looks a lot better, kind of fits the truck a little bit better, I believe. So I'm just waiting on the emblem to be done with what I'm doing to it. I'll get it reinstalled and then show you exactly what we did. This is the finished grill. I actually hit it with some uh, Meguiar's Ultimate Polish just to kind of get it polished up, but it looks so much better with the gloss black mesh. Now what I was gonna do, and I actually took a break to cut grass while it was drying, the emblem from the other grill actually came apart in two pieces. And I thought I would paint this background red and have the black ram's head over top of it to match the Hemi 5.7 liter emblem on the side. Well, after I painted it, it looked, for lack of a better word, pretty tacky. So I hit it with some brake cleaner, got the paint back off of it real quick. We're gonna go ahead, roll it with the complete black. It will go back in there. I hit those with polish as well. So that right there will kind of give you an overview of what the grill is going to look like. So I'm going to Gorilla Glue these tabs back together so the emblem will stay together. Bolt the support bracket back on and then we will put it back on the truck and see what the new blacked out grill looks like. All right guys, so that is it completely installed. We now have the complete black emblem on the front. We have the gloss black mesh instead of the matte black honeycomb pattern. So that is the front of the truck. I'll give you a good look at the whole truck. It is absolutely filthy. It's starting to come around. Next big project we are going to tackle are the new headlights and the fog lights if they ever get here. So guys, that's gonna be it for this upload. I hope you've enjoyed the Ram build series so far. Uh, we almost are done. The headlights and fog lights are gonna be next, but I believe the next video, we are gonna shift gears and start working on the 350Z. So if you wanna see that, be sure to subscribe to the channel. It's that red subscribe right below the video you're watching currently. Be sure to smash that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel anyway, and I'll see you guys on the next video.